Well, today should be interesting because the suggested prompt in the daily creating group was to draw or paint a random shape and then make something out of it. And I have to tell you, I have a lot of comments coming up in my head about this. They range from, this is going to be a disaster, to there's no way you can do that because you've been doing illustration for too long and you're just going to make something you've already done. And I've decided I'm not going to pay attention to either of those trains of thought. What I'm going to do is paint something with my eyes closed and then make something out of it. I figured that was a fair way to do it and that'll bypass whatever editing comes up in me automatically. So here we go. I do have to look while I'm mixing paint in order to get my paintbrush on the paint. I also want to use a lot of paint. I really am a fan of really loading up your brush and making sure you're not being stingy with your paint and water. So that's a tip and you know practice on some junky paper and just see how it flows, see how it goes. And then you know you can go to maybe some better paper and try some things there. As I suspected, kind of a mess, and I don't see anything here to make. So I'm just gonna follow what comes, and we'll see where it goes. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry now. And in the meantime, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a subject that I was playing with yesterday on video. And that has to do with the only thoughts that are worth listening to. This is such a huge thing for me because I have a pretty active mind. And a lot of what comes up in my mind, it's kind of judgmental and I'm learning how to let those thoughts go by and pay attention to the thoughts, the feelings, the sense of inspiration as it comes. Any thoughts that are new, those are the thoughts that have the possibility of a new creation in them. Those are the thoughts that are leading you in a new direction. They're the creative energy that's in all of us that's coming through. And as we pay less and less attention to the thoughts that we've heard before, it makes more room for these creative impulses, the, these creative thoughts to come to that open space of curiosity. So I think this painting might be dry enough now to start playing with, so let's begin.
Well, this has been an interesting experience. It is not anything that I would have done intentionally, but that was the point of the exercise. And for me, the bigger point is actually continuing with the process, even when everything in my head is going, stop, you know, it's crazy what the thinking does in our head. It's just trying to keep you safe by keeping you where you've been and what's familiar to you. So as we step out into these new directions, you're going to probably get a little feedback from the old uh, protective device wanting you to stay in your comfort zone. And I'm here to share with you that we don't have to pay attention to these fear thoughts. We don't have to pay attention to these thoughts that try to move us back to what's comfortable for us. We can keep going and see what happens and you know there's no loss. We're just playing with paint and something really outstanding could happen and even if it doesn't that's okay too. This is a sketchbook, it's for playing, and that's what I'm doing. So it's been really great to talk to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you could give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Until next time, have a fabulous day.